हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर रिसर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर उत्तराखंड हेयर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द इल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ मोनोकल्चर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज मोनोकल्चर मोनो मीन्स वन एंड कल्चर मीन्स कल्टिवेशन प्रैक्टिस सो इफ वन टाइप ऑफ प्रैक्टिस आर अडोप्टेड दैन इट इज नोन एज मोनोकल्चर but in agriculture when we talk about the crop production monoculture is growing of single crop suppose uh, we grow in kharif season rice and in ravi season chickpea then there are two crops but if we are growing the rice in kharif season in ravi season and summer season then it is monoculture rice 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 continuous growing of same crop is monoculture so example of monoculture is growing of uh, suppose rice in kharif rice in ravi then rice in summer season similarly sugarcane is grown continuously sugarcane uh, then rattoon then rattoon then uh, plant crop then it is monoculture similarly potato 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 is continuously grown in each season so if same crop is grown in each season then it is known as monoculture because it is if there are three crops then it is triple cropping there are three crops one crop ravi in kharif season second crop in ravi season third crop in summer season if we look into the number of crops then it is triple cropping but cultural practices point of view it is monoculture because same crop single crop mean same crop is being grown in each season that's why it is monoculture so cultivation practices are same tillage requirement is same nutrient requirement is same insect control is same the herbicides which are used for control are same so all the practices are same so that's why it is known as monoculture there is no change in or no difference in cultural practices that's why it is known monoculture we have to adopt same type of culti cultivation practices in each season suppose it is rice and it is chickpea then it is not monoculture because cultivation practices of rice are entirely different from chickpea to jo rice ki cultivation practices hain wo chickpea se different hain to ye monoculture nahi hoga lekin hum rice rice continuous le rahe hain sugar cane sugar cane le rahe hain potato potato le rahe hain to hame potato ki wahi cultivation practices har season mein adopt karni hai so that's why it is known as mono culture so this is a specialized system and skilled labor is required and but the there are several disadvantages or ill effects associated with the monoculture to kai jagah pe south india mein rice uh, grow kiya jata hai western india mein continuous sugar cane crop kiya jata hai hill area mein continuous potato grow kiya jata hai to ye monoculture hai iske kuch advantages bhi hain jo farmer specialized ho jate hain wo iska production acha le lete hain wo skilled ho jate hain unka management acha ho jata hai but there are several advantages and the ill effects and what are the advantages so disadvantages suppose a farmer is growing uh, continuously rice crop in each season and suppose uh, uh, insect is stem borer so stem borer in uh, infestation will be in kharif season in ravi season in summer season so there is continuous infestation of uh, particular insect stem borer isi tarah se jo jo grasses jo weeds ho rahe hain in kharif season ravi season and summer season no doubt the weed species are different but they are continuously growing in each season so that's why to control the weeds we have to apply a particular uh, herbicide to hame rice mein particular herbicide hi dalna padega agar hum butaclor ko use kar rahe hain to butaclor hame dalna hi padega to ye jab hum continuous uh, herbicide ko use kar rahe hain same herbicide is being used in each season then weeds develop the resistance against the herbicide so this is the problem of weed resistance because we are using a same mode of action of uh, herbicide in each season to control the weeds so this is the reason that uh, weed persistence increases weed resistance increases we are using the herbicide to control in kharif season her uh, and herbicide to control uh, the weeds in ravi season so we are using the same herbicide no doubt the herbicide which are uh, Used in खरीफ season are different from रबी season. जो हम herbicide खरीफ season में डालना है वो रबी season से थोड़े से अलग होंगे क्योंकि weed flora अलग अलग है लेकिन 
हम उन दो हर्बिसाइड को एवरी सीजन हम यूज कर रहे हैं तो जो कंटिन्यूस हम यूज करेंगे तो वीड्स मैकेनिज्म डेवलप कर लेंगे रेसिस्टेंट का रेसिस्टेंस का दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ वीड रेसिस्टेंस एंड वंस वीड्स डेवलप द रेसिस्टेंस देन देयर पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीजेस एंड वी हैव टू अप्लाई मोर एंड मोर केमिकल मोर डोज ऑफ हर्बिसाइड्स तो दैट्स व्हाई इन मोनोकल्चर अ केमिकल डोज इंक्रीजेस द सेम मैकेनिज्म इज विद इंसेक्ट रेसिस्टेंस इन टू कंट्रोल द इंसेक्ट वी अप्लाई द इंसेक्टिसाइड but in each season insect is there we have to apply uh, the insecticide to usse kya hoga dose badhti jayegi insect control nahi hoga and they develop the resistance so number of weeds increases insect resistance increases so there is continuous problem of weed and insects and then we have to apply the more dose of chemicals this is the problem uh, with the disease also disease so disease uh, uh, infection increases disease persist koi disease hai sugar cane ki ab wo sugar kyunki season mein crop change nahi hui to disease rahegi disease change with the change in crop but there is but there is continuous same crop so that's why disease persist in the field so that's why disease infection increases and we have to apply more dose of chemicals so this is the problem with the monoculture that we have to increase the dose of herbicide to increase the dose of insecticide and increase the dose of uh, fungicides so this is the problem it means chemical load in the field increases as well as the weed problem remain same insect problem remain disease remain so because of this chemical there is a pollution in the soil so soil pollution is there because there is a heavy load of chemicals and then these chemicals percolate with the water leaching of chemicals occur and ground water pollution also occur so this is uh, the another problem associated with them in monoculture area uh, we apply more chemicals to control the weeds insect disease and these chemicals percolate with the water and reach to the ground water and this is the ground water pollution and if we use this water as a drink purpose then create another type of problem so soil pollution is there water pollution is there environmental pollution also there because during manufacturing during the production during the application they pollute the environment so environmental pollution is also associated with the monoculture the only reason is that we have to apply more dose of chemicals because disease persist insect persist weeds persist in the same culture agar culture different hota crop different hoti to uske sath disease kuch aur aa jati weeds kuch aur aate insect kuch aur aate aur unko control karne ke liye hum dusre chemicals ko use karte aur wo persist nahi karte ab is stem borer persist kar jayega koi disease persist kar jayegi smut persist kar jayega to ye problem hai monoculture ke sath aur jab persist karenge inko control karne ke liye we have to increase the dose of chemicals and when we increase the dose of chemical then there is a problem of pollution so soil pollution is there and because of this soil pollution chemical load is more so microbial activity is reduced so all the reasons are interlinked so there is a series of uh, uh, disadvantages to ek karan se kitne kai sare karan ho rahe hain disadvantages ki linking ho rahi hai so reduced microbial activity because of uh, more chemical use because chemicals are in soil and they hinder or they hamper the microbial activity and we know that microbes are very important for nutrient mineralization for decomposition of organic matter to ye ek bahut badi problem ho jati hai microbial activity kam ho jati hai to jab microbial activity kam hogi to nutrient transformation is less decomposition is less and mineralization is less and this cause the depletion in soil fertility so this is the another linkage of disadvantages तो देखिए एक मोनोकल्चर uh, करने से किस तरह से प्रॉब्लम्स बढ़ती जा रही हैं एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिड्यूस माइक्रोवेल एक्टिविटी देर इज अ डेप्लीशन इन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी नंबर वन बिकॉज ऑफ ड्यू टू माइक्रोवेल एक्टिविटी रिडक्शन सेकंड फैक्टर इज दैट इफ राइस क्रॉप इज ग्रोइंग कंटिन्यूसली देन दिस क्रॉप एब्जॉर्व सम न्यूट्रिय इन लार्ज अमाउंट एंड सम इन लेस अमाउंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल जिंक इज एब्जॉर्व इन ह्यूज अमाउंट 
तो उससे क्या होगा जिंक की कंटिन्यूस डिफिशियंसी होती जाएगी इफ वी आर अप्लाइंग द रिकमेंडेड डोज ऑफ न्यूट्रिय बट पर्टिकुलर न्यूट्रिय आर एब्जॉर्ब इन लार्ज अमाउंट एंड सम आर नॉट एब्जॉर्ब इन दैट रेशियो तो मान लीजिए कि राइस उस वहाँ कॉपर का बहुत एब्जॉर्बन नहीं कर रही है तो जिंक की तो डेफिशियंसी होती जाएगी लेकिन कॉपर मैगनीज इस तरह के जो है अकूमलेट होते जाएंगे सो देर इज ए इम्बैलेंस इन न्यूट्रिय सो दिस इज अनदर रीजन फॉर डिप्लेशन इन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इन मोनोकल्चर दैन सॉइल डिग्रेडेशन इज देयर बिकॉज ऑफ पॉल्यूशन रिड्यूज माइक्रो एक्टिविटी डिप्लेशन इन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी डिस्पाइट द फार्मर्स आर यूजिंग रिकमेंडेड डोज ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर अगर जिंक को अपटेक हो रहा है हर क्रॉप में मान लीजिए फाइव के जी जिंक पर हेक्टर इज इज एब्जॉर्ब बाई द राइस क्रॉप एंड वी आर अप्लाइंग द रिकमेंडेड डोज बट द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट द अदर न्यूट्रेंट अकूमलेट अनदर प्रॉब्लम इज दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्रॉप रेजिड्यू डिकम्पोज एंड सीक्रेट पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ केमिकल्स सो बिकॉज ईच स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ रेजिड्यू सीक्रेट डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ केमिकल्स तो ड्यू टू राइस एक्स्ट्रा डिकम्पोजिशन different type of chemicals are secreted in case of major different type of chemicals in case of sunflower different type of chemicals in case of wheat different type of chemicals are secreted from the residue during decomposition but there is a continuous same crop for example sugarcane so a particular chemicals are secreted and they accumulate into the soil and they cause allelopathic effect uh, uh, or uh, the harmful effect on the माइक्रोवेल एक्टिविटी एंड द रिडक्शन इन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इन केस ऑफ मोनोकल्चर अब राइस राइस का हमने कंटिन्यूस कर रहे हैं तो उसमें इस तरह के केमिकल एक्मुलेट हो जाएंगे कि हम कोई दूसरी क्रॉप को ग्रो करेंगे तो वो दैन दे विल शो एलोलोपैथिक इफेक्ट ऑन अदर क्रॉप इफ दिस रोटेशन इज चेंज तो देर इज एक्मुलेशन ऑफ पर्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ केमिकल सो इन डायरेक्टली इट हेम पर दी सॉइल फर्टिलिटी सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम इन डिप्लेशन इन सॉइल फर्टिलिटी तो जब कभी राइस राइस रोटेशन को पाँच छः सात आठ साल बाद चेंज किया जाएगा तो उसमें ऐसे केमिकल तब तक एकूमलेट हो चुके होंगे जो दूसरी क्रॉप को एलोलोपैथिक इफेक्ट से अफेक्ट करेंगे सो दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद द मोनोकल्चर देन देर इज नो बायोडाइवर्सिटी नो बायोडाइवर्सिटी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्लांट टाइप क्रॉप टाइप बिकॉज देर इज सेम टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप राइस 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 so there is no biodiversity and biodiversity is must uh, for food chain for food wave uh, bio nutrient recycling biodiversity is must because uh, predators are required parasites are required to control the insect some uh, weeds grow which uh, inhibit the another weed species by allelopathic effect so there is a cycle predator parasites uh, natural enemies so biodiversity should be maintained for the natural bio control of insects and weeds and suppose uh, a system is uh, uh, rice uh, chickpea suppose and another system is rice wheat and another system is maize mustard and another system is rice rice uh, uh, every year every year okay so in this uh, rotation uh, in ravi crop chickpea wheat and in kharif maize air mustard so different type of uh, flora is there different type of weeds are there different types of insects insects of chickpea insects of wheat insect of maize insect of mustard and there is a uh, predator parasite relationship and there is a natural bio control similarly different weed flora and which inhibit the growth of other weeds so there is a natural control if there is a biodiversity is maintained food uh, chain is maintained but in case of rice 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 similar type of insect similar type of weeds so there is no natural predator no natural parasite so insect problem weed problem increases so biodiversity should be maintained so this is the problem that in case of monoculture there is no biodiversity so these are the disadvantages with the monoculture and basically it is with the persistence of weeds disease insects depletion uh, more use of chemicals which cause another type of problem soil pollution water pollution environmental pollution 
reduced microactivity, reduced mineralization, reduced decomposition, depletion in soil fertility, accumulation of uh, special specific chemicals which are secreted from the residue. अब राइस 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 है तो राइस के रेजिड्यू से स्पेशल केमिकल सीक्रेट्स हो रहे हैं जो एक्यूमुलेट होते रहेंगे सॉइल में एंड देन दे विल हेम्पर द माइक्रोल एक्टिविटी एंड डिप्लीट दी सॉइल फर्टिलिटी एंड नो बायोडाइवर्सिटी बिकॉज सेम क्रॉप इज देयर तो बायोडाइवर्सिटी का होना बहुत जरूरी है सो दैट इन नंबर ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स आर देयर इन नंबर ऑफ वीड स्पीसीज आर देयर सो दैट दे हैव नेचुरल कंट्रोल इन नंबर ऑफ डिसीज आर देयर बिकॉज इन सॉइल इन नंबर ऑफ बैक्टीरिया आर देयर and because of this monoculture only specific type of bacteria are present so there is no biodiversity no microbial diversity microbial diversity is required to control the soil pathogen but in case of monoculture there is no such type of biodiversity no microbial diversity so there is no natural control so problem increases in case of monoculture so this monoculture is not advantageous we can take this continuous uh, cropping system for one year two year three year but it should be changed and actually this monoculture is adopted in a specialized area when farmers become specialized and has production technology at very good management and good skill in raising the crop then they crop same crop in each season but in long run it is not advantageous so these are the advantages disadvantages uh and ill effects of monoculture thank you very much